We're gonna do it. This tournament. All right. Here we go. Zang goes in versus Peter Factor. Now Zang is such an you know he can be such an offensive monster when he wants to be. I've really like his last match really impressed me with the follow ups he was delivering. So I'm definitely expecting uh, Peter Factor to have a little bit more trouble than he might be bargaining for. But he gets back to the stage. Good back airs. And that's going to be a forward smash to seal that stock right there, my man. Now let's see if Peter Factor can turn it up. Oh my god. This man is notorious for, <laughs> for those YOLO stomps. <laughs> Oh, that level 9 recovery, not going to cut it, though. Zhang takes a two-stock lead here. Up tilt. Double up tilt to shine. Throwing him off a little bit. And Zhang really making use of this up tilt, man. I'm telling you, the up tilt game changed ever since Chillin', Chillin started bringing in all the spaces, copying it. Oh, but Zhang, I'm not sure. <laughs> the gentleman right there. Go ahead and toss that stock away. Gotta respect Zhang. Definitely a scholar. You can tell this man graduated college. Okay. Let's go. Yep, that's a good back air right there. Very well could seal the stock. And again, I'm that doesn't work. I'm not I'm not sure. Maybe he's playing a little too much Project M, because that is an effective, effective recovery in BM, but not so much in melee. But I'm sure he'll make the necessary adjustments. The Zhang. Really not in, has has no interest of letting him do so. Oh, that was a nice wave dash back to re-grab. Zang's such a clever Falco. You know, not the most technical guy in the world, but man, he can make something out of nothing. And even out of that, getting edge guarded, he still got the kill. <laughs> Classic Zengu Zen, folks. Classic Zengu Zen. Makes it happen all the time. Now let's see where Peter Factor can go. He's going to really need to get his X Factor on him if he wants to take a game off Zang. So we'll see what he can get going. As Gunblade rejoins me. How you doing, sir? Good. I had to see a man about a, a boat. All right. Well, fair enough. Right now, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to see Peter trying to see what's up with uh, Pokemon Stadium here. Now, this is a stage I generally see Spacey's counterpick to. So. Yeah, this is really a really good Fox stage. Um... But Falco, you know, he, he can make use of a lot of the things on this stage, too. Uh, it's really, really a Fox stage because of the lower ceiling yeah. on it. And, you know, it's the terrain and the mobility. Oh, for sure. Too. And Zhang, classic, classic, classic F smashes. Yeah, Zhang, a lot of his combos are focused uh, about setting up that forward smash yep. to get the finish. Oh, nice grab. Good oh. to see. No jump. No jump at all, sir. Yeah, Zhang doing this thing right now. You're going to have to bring it up. Yeah, you're going to have to bring it a little hard if you want to give this guy a challenge. He's looking to just run rough shot on this pool, though. Oh, great tech chase. Goes for the people's elbow. Doesn't get it. Oh, can this grab lead to anything? Yes, a re-grab. Oh, <laughs> Double just lasers got, got up from the edge and popped. Now, I like what Zhang does when he's down there. He'll stall with the shine, kind of try and fool his opponent into, you know, throwing out that edge guard option a little too early. Yep. And that gives Zhang a lot of room to work with, especially as Falco. You always want to be as tricky as you can with your recovery because it's, it's, you know, it's not the most reliable thing in the world. Yeah, disrupting the timing is such an important thing when you're trying to recover. Yeah. Especially with the char with, uh, characters that have a stall. Absolutely. Zhang, look in the... Have a flawless victory. Yeah, that's a solid no four stock it. right there. All right. Zang is on fire. <laughs> Zang Zen, man. Calm down. The, the New Jersey Warrior. <laughs>